Thank Yay. you. Yay. Thank you so much. That was a long introduction. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, we got a little wordy in the <laughs> intro. Not you, not you. <laughs> we just got, we got typey. <laughs> got typey, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for having us. We're so excited to be here. My name is Tara Seitzma. And I'm Dan Seitzma. And together we are Improv Effects. We are married. We usually get that question like halfway through. Uh, so we've just started saying it. Yeah. We're married. We're married. Uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely. Um, people think we're siblings a lot of time. A lot of times we're both think really we're Dutch. Same last name. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Super Throws people off. <laughs> yeah. um, so we're excited. We'll be here for about an hour and we do own an improv company, um, Crawl Space Theater Productions. And what we have learned from improvising together for together for almost 18 years now, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. wild is the concepts that you use to improvise and create some fun comedy for an audience are similar concepts. They relate very well to the workplace and leadership. And so we're going to take you through some of those concepts today in a very fun way. Um, sometimes people see the word improv and they want to vomit. And I understand that, mm -hmm. I really, really do. Yeah. I am an introvert myself and did not improvise for years. A lot of those people are next door. Yeah, maybe they're next, they just yeah. didn't sign up. Yeah. And I get that too. <laughs> uh, so I'm proud of you for signing up. Indeed. Indeed. And the um, exercises that we chose for today, we'll do three or four, depending on how, many, how much time we've got, are not super scary. We'll do them either all together or in pairs all together, so. Super fun, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yes, there's a PowerPoint presentation, yeah. but it's really kind of... It's like, secondary. Yeah, it's secondary to <laughs> uh, the engagement that we'll uh, get into in a bit. Uh, really interactive. We like to keep people on their feet as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and then the slides will just help guide some of the things. So, uh, some of the things that we'll talk about, you know, how did philosophies and techniques and improv relate to leadership and um, improv as a path to better leadership and what that's all about. Mm -hmm. uh, Tara has been really focused on the that concept of courage and bravery in just everyday settings. And you know, people talk about public speaking or just confrontation and the challenges that go along with it. And it takes a high level of courage to do that. Mm -hmm. And so we're recognizing that more and more in our improv students and performers, mm -hmm. uh, just that level of how do we nurture that courage mm -hmm. within you. Um, mm -hmm. So that's uh, some of what we'll be doing. Uh, so through the course of today or the next hour, we're hoping that we'll find ways to ensure a shared vision with staff. You know, that's, that's part of the hiring process, you know, that you want to find people that share your vision. So part of that is clarifying and clearly communicating your vision, but also looking for those that get it, that really understand it. And then fostering a supportive mindset and to build a culture of innovation. So that's, the, that's one of the underlying or the main underlying theme is how do you build a culture of innovation with the work that you do? Cool. Okay, so we're going to get started. Our first exercise is called wound ball, and we realize as we made the slide that it also says wound ball. Yeah, it looks it's a not, lot it's like not wound, wound ball. ball. Yeah. It's wound ball, that's which why is I a put mixture. a gentle, like beach ball. That's not wound. That won't wound you. That will not wound you. No. Wound is a mashup word of words and sounds, so that's why we call it wound ball. So to do this exercise, what we would love is for everybody to stand up and we've taken our masks off so we can certainly give you some distance but let's make a huge circle around just the big chunk of chairs in the middle so one big circle see if that will work space wise for us all and then we'll explain how to do wound ball <laughs> awesome so like i said we have three or four exercises this one we'll all do together and the way this works, Dan and I will show you an example, is we're in a circle, and I brought the wound ball. Oh, good. I, I forgot it. Yeah, I, yep, know. I forgot mine. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll throw it to Dan and say a word. So I may say chair, 
Cool. So Dan catches the ball and repeats the word that I say. Chair. Nice. You're doing good. <laughs> then the first thing that comes to Dan's mind is the word that he will throw back to me. Cushion. Cushion. Now, did you have to think about it that much? No. 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 It's kind of a free association, so don't, um, don't get stuck up in your head. Just say the first thing that comes to your mind. And it is called wound ball. If you don't feel like saying a word, you can just make a fun noise. Sometimes people like to, yeah, sometimes that's harder. <laughs> With your mouth. With your mouth. Sometimes people like to do that, though. So. Yeah. And also, really try not to pre yeah. set up a word. Um, we'll know, and also it just <laughs> is, um, it sort of makes things a little, it takes things away from the exercise. So really just listen to what words are going on and be ready for it to come to you. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really all. Just relax into it, a relaxed focus is really what we're going for. Yeah, so I've got the ball, I'll throw a word to somebody, just repeat the word as you catch the ball, okay? All right. We're gonna go right straight across the circle here. Look at <laughs> Yep. I'm going to say bird. And you catch the ball and say bird. bird. Excellent. Nice. Now, you can't do it wrong. The first thing that comes to your mind, throw to somebody else. Right over here. Robin. Nice. And and repeat Robin. Robin. Good. Great. Yay. Nice. Bat. Good. And you catch bat. <laughs> Good. Awesome. That's great. Good. Mm -hmm. Come on, Ed. <laughs> so repeat that word. Dinner. There we go. So before you even try to think of a new word, just repeat the word that came to you. Yeah. And honestly, you're like 80% of the way to your other word. Yeah. By just saying the word that comes to you. It yeah. really, it's really so helps. Yeah. It's so true. It's so true. Reflection. Ooh. Awesome. It's a good word. Forest. Good. So, so catch, say reflection. catch reflection. Yeah. Reflection. Good. There you go. There you go. Forest. Forest. Amazon. Good. Nice. Nice. Good. Nice. She didn't even hear the directions. No. She's rocking. She's advanced. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I was hiding in the hole. That's women confabbing yeah, that's, right there. It's confab. Okay. Freedom writer. Nice. Writer. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's right great. there. That yeah, that was great. We were I all thinking it. it. You said it. Toilet. Toilet. Nice. Uh, <laughs> yep, that works. So you have to ew. catch ew. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Ooh, that's hard. Uh, blue. Sweet. Blue. Dog. Dog. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Plants. Me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know who has it. Yep. Me. Flowers. Flowers. Birds. <laughs> Birds. Parrots. Oh. Parrots. Nice. That was the universal I'm open sign. <laughs> yeah. Um, awesome. Really We're going to keep going. Uh, this is going really well. It is going this well. This is going great. Um, so a couple little pointers is whatever comes out of your mouth, as you can see, there's no wrong words. Mm -hmm. There's no perfect choice when somebody throws you, I'm trying to think, reflection or mm. whatever it was. There's no perfect response to reflection. There are an, basically an infinite number of responses you can do if you receive reflection. Um, so really what you, what you come up with and what you say and what's been said in this circle, everything's been totally great. It's been fine. There's no perfect response. So just go with one and then move. It's all good. So a little bit of a goal to look for is try to find a pace 
little bit of a rhythm. It doesn't have to be fast, really. Just try to see as a group sort of what our rhythm is, mm -hmm. okay? Um, so let's keep it going. I forget what you had tossed me. Parrot, I think it was. <laughs> Parrot. Another uh, thing that helps is to uncross arms and have hands out of pockets, just kind of down by your side. Just kind of a communication thing. Try it up here as open as you can. And try not to lean on things. Yeah, which is tough with, the, you yeah. know, such a big circle. But. Yeah. Okay, parrot. Parrot. Uh, pirate. Pirate. Good. Justice. Nice. I love that enthusiasm. Justice. Peace. Good. Peace. War. Good pace. Nice. War. Gun. Gun. Radical. Radical. Transformative. Whoa. Transformative. Cool. Words. Yeah, these are good. Necessity. Necessity. Goodness. Ooh. Goodness. Love. Mm -hmm. Nice. Love. Valentine. Yeah. Valentine's candy. <laughs> <laughs> candy. Candy. <laughs> candy. Candy. <laughs> Children. <laughs> yes. Children. Yes. Halloween. Yes. Yes. Halloween. Uh, pumpkin. Great. Pumpkin. Beach ball. Nice. Beach ball. Sand. Awesome. And magician. Good. Sweet. Magician. Magic. Nice. Nice. Magic. Pirate. Good. Let's yes. see if we can do even a the little best faster. Pirates pace. are magic. They really are. <laughs> yeah. A little faster pace. Uh, sales. Sales. Also, one other quick tip is eliminate any negative judgment of any word that comes to you. Mm -hmm. Just accept it as a word. And then what does it trigger and kind of keep it moving? But try to eliminate any negative judgment of whatever the word is, mm -hmm. especially if some sports team comes up that you don't like. <laughs> okay. That's that usually happens. where we see it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Miss State sucks. <laughs> um, so just, yeah, we'll keep it going. Sandy, okay. keep it going. Thank Sales, you. Sunshine. Good. Sunshine shopping. Good pace. Excellent. Awesome. Expensive. Purse. Purse. Gucci. Nice. Oh. Good focus. Prada. Prada. Bandana. Bandana. <laughs> Whatever you think you heard, just go with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, travel. Great. Good. Italy. Good pace. All right. This is good. Netherlands. Netherlands. United States. United States. Winter. Winter. Summer. Oh, summer games. Nice. Awesome. Game. Cover. <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> That's that works. Oh, yeah. Whatever you think you heard, just go with it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Back on track. <laughs> Light outlet. Outlet electricity. Electricity gas. Yes. Einstein. Einstein. Scientist. Smart. Smart. Innovator. Ooh. Um, innovator. Uh, WMU. Wow. Great. Wow. Great. Okay, uh, <laughs> I think we can go faster. I do too. I do too. You're doing good right. though. You're doing really good. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and one more thing. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Typical guy. Um, so I think we can go faster. I know we can. Give yourself permission to be absolutely amazing at this exercise. Mm -hmm. To do it better than anybody has done this ever. ever. You can. Starting with you. Starting with Laurel. <laughs> Starting with Laurel. It's okay. Future. Future. Okay. Back. Back? Yep. Back. Like back to the uh, Car. Car. Road. 
road wheels. Radio station. Radio station. Static. Static. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> nice. That's good. Uh, work. Nice. Um, hard. Hard. Easy. Isn't that interesting. Easy. Soft. Mm. Soft. Hard. Hard. Dog. Nice. <laughs> Dog. Cat. Remember to relax too. Just relax. <laughs> That's right, words and sounds. Yeah. Furry. Furry. Awesome. Stegosaurus. Yes. Plesiosaurus. Plesiosaurus. Uh, dinosaur. Um, reptile. <laughs> reptile. Alligator. Alligator. Florida. Florida. Gators. Okay. Gators. Chomp. <laughs> Gators. Chomp. Good pace. Good pace. Good. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Remember to relax. Relax. Let's end on happy. Let's end on yeah. happy. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. We play this exercise a yeah. lot in our workshops, and we always do it until we get to the point that we just did, which is quite a fast pace. So what changed from when we first started it till happy, <laughs> till we just finished it? What changed? How did the exercise change? Yes. Quit thinking Quit about Quit thinking it. about it too much. What else? Great. It didn't seem like there was much pressure. Good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what was the pressure that was on initially? Come up with a good word. Yeah. You wanted to come up with a good word. Yeah, you want to be yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. Or an inappropriate word. Or an inappropriate word, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that fear of saying right. something inappropriate. In yeah. front of a group at mm -hmm. a conference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. See, something yeah. happens in this game when you catch the ball for a split second and everybody is watching you. It's like mm -hmm. you can't think of a single word in your entire mind. <laughs> and that's okay. That's just being in the limelight for just a second. Yes. Um, what else changed? Um, I thought this helped when you repeat the word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Sort of a mirroring, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it helps yeah. with a, that a little bit of that stage fright. Like I already said something, and that came out okay. <laughs> that, that wasn't inappropriate. <laughs> like I just said that, and I did pretty good. So then it's just one more word. Yes. Awesome. Anything else? I think confidence to be silly. Yes. Everyone's yeah. Doing it with you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's an absolute truth. Mm -hmm. If other people are willing to step out of the norm of what you think you should do at a women's confab. Sure. Um, it's my first, so. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing good. Thank You're doing you. doing really good. I'm not sure what protocol is. <laughs> um, but at any conference, anytime you're in a room full of people that m you're somewhat familiar with, but maybe don't know everybody, yeah, there's a level of, mm. I don't want to be, I don't want to look stupid. I don't want to look bad. Um, that's where that relaxed focus comes in. Mm -hmm. You know, you are relaxed in that you're not afraid of the worst thing happening, okay? You have a focus on what good can happen. And there's amazing things that come out. It was flying at it was. the end. It was really, really flying. <laughs> yeah. This is a low stakes exercise. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's not a lot of wrong that can happen, okay? So we admit that. Uh, taking that same relaxed focus into the rest of today mm -hmm. to the rest of this session mm -hmm. and also seeing where you can find moments that you know you have you might be inclined to tense up you might be inclined to be controlled by that fear mm -hmm. try to find that relaxed focus 
that's what improv improvisers really try to find that before any performance, any show that we go into. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the next exercise, what we would love is find somebody in the room that you don't know. This is not going to be super difficult, I promise. Um, find a partner and stand by that person. Maybe it's somebody you don't know well, okay? Once you're partnered up, we'll move on to the next exercise. Go ahead. I'll just say a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I'm like, I don't know you. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> yes. You have to leave. You have to leave. That, <laughs> that question, do we have an even number? You can be uh, a part of this group I, yeah, if like you'd like. Observing. Yeah. <laughs> I know that trick. No pass. I know that you trick. You not get a pass. Uh, you can be a group of three. Oh, we're a trifecta. Trifecta. <laughs> Stronger <laughs> with three. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. All right. So we're going to we're gonna move to our next exercise. Before we do, um, part of my introduction mentioned experience in a uh, chemistry lab. Uh, that was something that I did in previous life for 13 years. I uh, was working <laughs> uh, the sciences and specifically analytical chemistry. And something that I thought was really interesting was just how similar it is that improvisers came up with some of the techniques and tools that we use and how it resembled the scientific method and how scientists come up with new discoveries. Um, and that uh, we're trying to find the most interesting ideas. That, that's sort of the, the goal. We want to present interesting ideas in scene work to audiences. How do we do that most consistently? So that's the goal, that's the objective. And so finding ways to do that. Uh, what makes for the most effective communication? That's the goal. Uh, what achieves the most relatable outcomes? Those are all goals that we're trying to find. And improvisers go into these rehearsal rooms and they try different things and they find what works best to get the most consistent results. And so we want to introduce you to one of the key tenants uh, through this exercise. Tara, okay. do you want to set it up? I do. Um, so Dan and I will show you uh, an example of this. Yeah. I love this exercise. We go through this one a lot with groups of folks. And um, we're going to, just for like 30 seconds or something, plan a fictitious vacation. Or maybe not, because we could use yeah, vacation. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> um, we're going to plan a vacation anywhere, and every single line that we say will begin with the words, yes, but. Yes, but. Okay? We ready, Dan? Let's do it. Um, I think we should, let's go somewhere tropical. Let's go there. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. That sounds great. Um, yes, but uh, tropical means sand, <laughs> and sand means chafing. Oh. Um, it just <laughs> does. Let's just come to terms. Um, it's so I'd, I'd rather stay away from sand. Yes, but where there's sand, there's ocean. And you can always go for a swim. Mm. Wash off the sand. Dan. Yes, but <laughs> oceans come with sharks. Whoa, with it's true. Big, giant teeth, yeah. and a will to destroy. Um, so <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure that's really up up to my. Uh, yes, but if we saw a shark, you would have a great story to tell our kids. They would love that. You love a good story too. Yes, but that would instill fears of sharks to the next generation. <laughs> um, and I feel like we should just kind of like eliminate that fear. Yes, but look at the picture. Look at the sun. It looks so inviting. I feel like we deserve a vacation right now. Yes, but I also see a bunch of coconuts on that tree that could fall on someone's head. <laughs> You get the idea. We can keep going and we won't. <laughs> um, so you're going to do this exact exercise. It doesn't have to be the tropical Hawaiian location. It can be anywhere. So one of you says, hey, I think we should go here. And then every line after that, back and forth, starts with yes, but. And we'll stop it. So just keep going. Any questions? OK, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> I think I'll wear it if I walk around. Sure. <laughs> 
Painting? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice you could take the time out. I literally thought it was her. Really? It's confident. That's true. I mean, she qualifies. Stop it. Is there a clock in the room? There's not. There's not. Okay. I just have my phone there. Okay. okay. We got about a half hour. Okay. So maybe stop it. You have 30 minutes <laughs> remaining for your bake. <laughs> yeah, we can bring it up. Okay, let's pause for a minute, please. Great. Go ahead and wrap up your conversations. We always walk around and listen, and it's so fun to listen to them. <laughs> Um, great. We're not quite finished. We're going to do the same exercise again, but change the language a little bit. This time, the first sentence stays the same. Let's go to Hawaii. Yay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now every other line starts with the words yes and. Yes and. And we'll see what happens. Okay? Any questions? Okay. Go for it. <laughs> You've what have you me. done? Trickster. We've got a cynic. <laughs> so the kids that I watched a, a show last night, because we, we only had like 20 minutes, uh, and it was called Walk the Prank. Mm -hmm. And it's these kids that do pranks, um, like hidden camera pranks. It was okay, um, but the end prank was so funny. <laughs> I could not stop laughing. Awesome. It was a fake science fair. Okay. And um, the, they had one guy that was there to judge, and he was kind of the victim of the prank. Uh -huh. And uh, he was judging this person's robot and he had this little controller. Um, and the robot would talk, but there was really a person inside of the robot shell. Uh -huh. And, um, but he totally had the guy convinced that it was a real robot. Whoa. And uh, like, if you do different things with this joystick, it would like wave. Um, and so the guy took it and he was like trying to push or went to push something and the thing just goes crazy. This is so funny. But they had the room set up so that everything could be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> and it did. That's awesome. It's just like walking around just trouncing everything. And the guy has this remote and he's like, I don't, I don't know how to shut it off. That's awesome. They did it so well. I love that. I was almost crying. I love that. Oops. No, I'm just lurking. Yeah. Yes. 
I did forget that we were mic'd. <laughs> we had a totally separate conversation about a prank show. Dominic will be handling it. <laughs> Some sort of gag reel. Wow. Good? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's bring our conversations to an end, please. <laughs> awesome. There's some great laughter in that round. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. I, lo I love that. I know. Um, cool. Okay, so between the two, now we're done with that exercise. Between the two rounds, which one felt more productive and why? Yes. The second one. The second one. Yeah. And why did that feel more productive to you? Because I started thinking of more and more things to do while I was there. Wow, interesting. Okay. So it generated ideas for you. Yes. Interesting. Cool. Somebody else. I think it was the second one. Second one? The yes and was so much more inclusive. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and less restrictive. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Nice. Interesting. The yes but got negative okay. Mm -hmm. We didn't like that. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. It can be a strange kind Did of... Did it shake out that one of you was sort of the negative and one of you became more of the positive in the first one? I know, it kind of makes you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you feel like you're the... Yeah. Yeah, you feel like the roadblock. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what were you... We actually shifted to yes and early in round one. Oh! <laughs> you're advanced. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So yes, and actually, we uh, changed our vacation. Wow. It started as a walk, and I said, yes, and where should we go? Okay. And that made it different than just taking a walk. Mm hmm So it, it opened possibilities. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Nice. Interesting. Does yeah. somebody over here have their hand I up or no? Had some. Yes. Another comment. Just because that's what go my back. partner shared, and she said, I felt like I was being negative one, and I think that that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. say, yeah. But I mean, it was like we both were excited. You could feel the energy when we were doing that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the okay. volume was higher in the room. It, it was. generally is. Yeah. And also just shoulders were more relaxed. People were more comfortable, it more looked open. like. Mm -hmm. More open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something also interesting happens with the language. Um, in the first round, and we're walking around kind of listening for it, and we hear it almost every time, mm -hmm. and I did this time. Mm -hmm. In the yes but round, yes but is commonly followed by a third word. Any idea what it might be? Otherwise, I can just tell you. Uh, I. Yeah. Wow. Everyone yeah. knew it. Sandy's yes, sharp. But <laughs> Sandy's she's sharp. sharp. She's sharp. Yes but I. And then commonly followed by a fourth kind of negative word. I can't think of a reason or I don't think so. I don't think we have enough money. Um, it speaks from you kind of a little bit as an island and then it tends to go negative just based right in the language from the start. Then we listen in the second round. Yes, and what do you think is a common third word in the second round? We, mm -hmm. and it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's and so, we, fun. followed by some sort of positive word. We could do this. We could go for more than just a walk, or we could go swimming, um, or we should do this. Very, very interesting, based right into the language, how you can either halt ideas and shut them down, or build on each other's ideas in a positive way. This concept of yes and is the foundational concept for doing improv together. So that's been awesome. However, it's absolutely changed the way that I think and communicate. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you would agree. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But, and it seems like such a simple concept, but I find myself, I also teach this all the time, but I find myself thinking about the yes and idea a lot. And it helps communicate in almost every situation with our children, <laughs> at work, with teachers, mm -hmm. with my parents, with whoever, right? Um, and sometimes really it's interesting. 
challenging, mm -hmm. especially with kids, because kids don't have fully formed logic <laughs> uh, in their brain. So, right. I mean, they are controlled oftentimes by things like, how do I get more candy? Sure. <laughs> how do I watch more television? Um, things like that, sorry, screen time. Yeah, screen time, there's no What am I talking, I'm back in the 80s. <laughs> um, you have to say no to children, of right. course you do. Um, celebrating the yes moments, though, mm -hmm. is is what it has done for me. For those moments when your kids ask you, can we do this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we can. And celebrate those moments and make those all that they can be. Yeah. Um, and in, yeah, professional life, uh, recently, uh, as part of a nonprofit board that I'm on, uh, somebody had an idea that was really big and really novel and very challenging. And I wasn't sure how in the world it could work. Right. And saw a lot of reasons why it definitely couldn't work. But we didn't start there. We gave it time. We yes anded it to a place where said, okay, this might be something Let's talk to more people mm -hmm. and let's see where we can yes and it. In the end, we didn't do it mm -hmm. because it was a bad idea. At least for us now, it wasn't going to work. It doesn't mean that that time spent yes anding it was wasted. Mm -hmm. That time spent validated the idea, validated the person with the idea that this isn't bad, it's just not the time for it. Mm -hmm. And that's really critical as well. Is just are you going to make a it. comment? Yes, she's been waiting. For us, but also because you just hit on it, um, I think it's really important to talk about like how you transition from yes but to yes and. Mm -hmm. like, if, I was going to ask answer which round is more productive. For me, round one was much more productive actually because like we had to work on redirecting and like mm. I value that, so like that was good for me. Yeah. And that sometimes we like overlook to kind of bring to my last conference. We were talking about how we change the culture for women working in the workplace. Like we deal with a lot of yes but. Mm -hmm. like, Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. Yes, right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we often get that question of yeah. how do I get other people to yes and? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's great well, if you're in a room full of people. Yes and, yes and, yes and. Yeah. 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 It is. It is. It's it's sort yeah. of being that change that you want to see. Yeah. Um, and it's hard. It's really hard sometimes when, when you're constantly getting barraged with other negativity and shooting you down. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of sticking with it. And sometimes even setting up parameters if you have, if you're in a leadership role or it's sometimes an opportunity to lead up of, can, can we have a discussion where uh, we really just try to get, and we use this phrase and we actually do this, of putting it on the board. Just, mm -hmm. hey, let's, let's just get everything yeah. on the board. Yeah. And it's remarkable what happens when that's the mindset. And people start to kind of get addicted to it. They're like, well, what about this? <laughs> Toss out something really dumb <laughs> to try to challenge this process. We put it on the board and then everybody s steps back and says, maybe not as it's written, what about this? Mm -hmm which is a variation on it, and suddenly it opens up this world of innovation. <laughs> Sorry, that was shoehorned in. No, no. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, this exercise for me is huge as a woman and as somebody who's more introverted, just to be heard for a little bit. If I have an idea and somebody at least yes ands it f for a little while, it lets me feel heard and I think that's so huge and understood why I think it's a big idea so at least it goes on the board right in that concept also if somebody were to let's say it wasn't a great idea or we don't have the money in the budget or whatever um, that's fine it doesn't have to be the idea that gets chosen way down the line but at least I felt like I'm important and like I can say that and I'm going to be heard for a little while. I think that's really, really huge. Because who knows what idea I'll have seven down the line that I would never have shared if it wasn't safe enough for me to do that. So that's how it's helped me a ton. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and have a seat. I think we have time probably for one more.
I think, yeah, I think one more. Yes, one more. Good. <laughs> so we got to pick a good one. <laughs> awesome. I think we hit on yeah. Oh, yeah. all of these. I think so. Awesome. Um, Should we sure? go to the last one? Sure. Um, so a, f a few things about innovation and just some of the language and concepts that go uh, behind it. Uh, we pulled this from some really great information on just imagination, creativity, and innovation. And that imagination, seeing something that isn't there or that doesn't exist. You know, our minds as humans are able to do that. We can envision something that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And that is the imagination that we have and makes us such a unique species to be able to do that. Um, we don't know necessarily if other species do that because they don't tell us. Um, <laughs> creativity <laughs> is the application of that imagination. Um, seeing things in our minds that aren't there and being able to recreate them or find a new way to present them. And then innovation is the application of that creativity to solve a problem. You know, we talked about some of those initial problems or questions. How do we communicate most effectively? How do we engage an audience? You know, things like that. That was the problem. In using creativity in the improv rehearsal room or whatever gets to that innovation. Um, so imagination leading to creativity to innovation. So finding ways to engage that imagination in your employees, in your colleagues, really anybody that you're working with and your children mm -hmm. you know we really try to engage them in helping to make the choices you know for if there's a problem uh, our son just got a phone we got him a phone <laughs> still getting used to that we're still getting used to that <laughs> but getting him involved in imagining the best practices with this right with him and helping to guide him and engaging him gets him more bought in to whatever those policies are that we create for it. Um, if we just dictate it to him, he's going to storm off as he did. Um, <laughs> he's not going to like it. If he's a part of that and we engage his imagination of what's possible while still being safe and healthy. Right. Um, so engaging that imagination. Imagination requires two things, engaging and envisioning. Uh, Tina Seelig is a wonderful, wonderful author and speaker uh, out of Stanford. Uh, comes up with some really, really amazing tools. Uh, so we want to finish yeah. uh, with this exercise. This is a fun one. It actually is an improv game uh, that we've sort of modified into an exercise. And uh, we'll do this in pairs as well. We've been standing a while, so I think sure. just Staying in chairs yeah, that's and great. maybe moving chairs. Is it okay if we move chairs? Thanks. Sandra. Or you could always just sit together in other little clumps. Permission <laughs> yes. granted. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> yes. Everybody give a hand to Sandra Yay. for amazing. Okay, so maybe we can do an example. Yeah. That'd okay. Be great. So we'll do an example of this exercise. This one also we're all going to do at the same time, so we don't put anybody on the spot, which I think is important. Um, so the way this goes is Dan is going to describe a solution to a problem. Mm -hmm. So what kind of problem would you like to describe a solution to, oh, Dan? What's a good problem to, to solve? Hmm. Big, small, maybe maybe somewhere in the middle. So, uh, a medium-sized problem. Medium. Mm. An employee showing up late to work. Great. Awesome. So Dan's going to start and describe um, a solution to fixing that problem. I am his partner in this exercise, and whenever I feel like it, I'm going to say the word ding. And whatever Dan just said, you need to switch a little bit. Change it just a little. Then I'll say ding again, probably, and he'll change it one more time. Okay? And then he'll continue as if that last choice is the one that he always wanted to say. So we'll give you an example of a few of those, and then you'll all do this together. Um, go ahead, Dan. So you're, you're solving the problem of employees showing up late to work. 
So, uh, yeah, employees showing up late to work is a, is a real, real major problem mm -hmm. in workplaces. And uh, to me, the solution that's key is technology. Ding. Is um, old school. <laughs> Ding. Getting old. Um, is uh, uh, just just face-to-face -face communication. Wow, okay. Yeah. Um, really having that conversation every time it happens and reinforcing more and more that this is not acceptable. Ding. Uh, that this um, is uh, sometimes fun. <laughs> Ding. Uh, is uh, going to uh, lead to um, everybody suffering. Oh, yeah. ding. <laughs> <laughs> is going to lead to, um, let's see, is going to lead to uh, an irritation. Oh, okay. Yeah, just an irritation um, in the workplace. Uh, other people just are noticing mm -hmm. uh, that, the lateness is happening and they want it to go away. Ding. Uh, they want it to be on display. Ding. Uh, they want it to be in the newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea. So have some fun with it. It's amazing what your mind will think of by the time you get to that third choice. <laughs> it's amazing what's in your mind. Yep. Um, so go ahead and find a partner, sit together. If you need to do it in groups of three, that's fine. And we'll tell you when to switch. So you each get a chance to do the problem solving. And should we give them a problem? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. Um, so the problem that the first person uh, so the first person is going to do it until we stop you. Got it. And this problem is uh, that uh, there are feral cats uh, taking over the neighborhood. Whoa. So many. Yep. Mm -hmm. So many feral cats <laughs> okay. taking over the neighborhood. And uh, you have a solution, and then your partner will ding you periodically. <laughs> You don't have an audience for this. Right. You just have one person. So just take all the pressure off. If you say something ludicrous Nobody and cares. crazy, it doesn't <laughs> matter. It's all right. It's just an exercise. Yeah. Try it out. If you feel like standing up two in the back, you can, or you can sit. Go for it. Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't done this one in a while. I know, and I realized that as I was like looking. <laughs> oh, good. And now Dan. <laughs> that reminded me of actors on I've SNL only, who are clearly like looking yeah. at two cards. I think I've only actually done this in a workshop like three times. So. Yeah. I mean, I teach it in class all the time. It's totally different. Yep. Check the time. Hello. How are you? We're doing yeah, it. The other person? You. Out with her. Yeah, so we have till 12.15. We will not go over. No, no. <laughs> We're committed. Yes. Fun. No, this is a fun group. Yeah, yeah. Samantha Moorhead. I, I know of only one other Moorhead oh. in my life. A wonderful Chicago comedian, improviser. Scott Moorhead's his name. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It's a neat name. <laughs> You'll take it. <laughs> and then for the second round, second problem. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I had to pull from the old well. We always went with. <laughs> Feral animal <laughs> taking over the top. Um, it's raining something. Great. It's raining food. Or. Food or. Men? No. Not in a women's confab. No, 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 no. <clears throat> cheese? <laughs> it's raining cheese. I love that. I like the group on the floor. So then I was thinking maybe. 
Okay, great. Let's bring the attention back here. Only for the sake of time, we have to switch. So the second problem in for any group of three, we probably will just, one person won't get to do it. Um, so the second problem is it's begun to rain cheese. <laughs> it's raining cheese. And you have to come up with a solution. OK? Go for it. And switch. Switch roles. Twelve away. Tara. Yeah. So I forget that the mics record just what we say. Um, so the whole conversation about the prank show yeah. is, recorded. is now recorded. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and everything else that we've done. Right, yeah. right. Good. Yeah. We have about five minutes so. for it's, chatting too. Yeah, it's all right. This is a tough one if it goes on too long. Okay, let's uh, stop those stories. And bring your attention back up to the front, please. <laughs> uh, thank you. Some, sometimes, thank you for sitting down. We do sometimes do that. Hey, raise your hand if you can hear me. <laughs> it, it works so well. It works so well. I, I try to do it as yeah. non-pandering as possible. Yeah. All like right. To... Well, uh, fun exercise. Yeah, that was it's great. It's challenging, it wasn't it? Ah. Um, cool. So how did that go? Let's have a couple groups share. How did it feel when somebody said ding and you needed to instantly change your solution or that part of the solution? Let's chat about that for a couple minutes. Yeah, it does. Uh, it can. Yeah. It can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It... Have... No, that's okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. I think it can have a, a positive effect uh, because it, it kind of forces you into thinking more about your immediate reaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, because your first thought might not be the best one. So the person is challenging you, being like, hey, challenge that thought a little bit. Let's yeah. think about it to see what you actually want to say about this next thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good, good. It can be positive. Yes. Yeah. Just <laughs> give it a chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is tough when your real good idea gets dinged and then you're like, oh, I'll never see that one again. Yeah. <laughs> and it sort of gets uh, back to uh, what was your name? Sarah. Sarah. What Sarah was saying earlier that, you know, you get yes, but all the time mm -hmm. at work and it's, a, it's painful because mm -hmm. uh, yeah. somebody saying they don't like your idea is so close to them saying they don't like something about you mm -hmm. they don't like you and that's really hard and that's part of why improvisers have come up with some of these philosophies uh, to really build the support 
to build the support of folks that maybe they are a little bit sensitive about stuff. Maybe they are a little bit sensitive about certain areas of their life. Yeah, we're humans. Mm -hmm. Some let things slide off a little quicker. Great, good for them. That's, that is wonderful. However, are they necessarily the ones with the great ideas? <laughs> Not always. Sometimes the, the person who is a little reluctant to share ideas can have brilliance behind them and brilliance within them and trying to find ways to support that so that they're comfortable and feel safe and show up to work feeling like they can be themselves. That's what we're trying to get at. And yes, sometimes you'll see improvisers who totally yes button smack down your idea and the person keeps on going and comes up with something else and fun and useful. Yeah, that does happen. Mm -hmm. There are some improvisers who just have built that level of trust that they know that shooting their idea down doesn't mean they don't like you. They're just kind of playing. That's different. Mm -hmm. And earning trust can get you there. Any other comments on this exercise? Yes. Yeah, here we go. I thought it was easier. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It can be. Yes. And it can, if, yes. you, if you keep it a little bit light, relax. Yes. Yeah, the example Very we true. gave was pretty awful because I was trying <laughs> to come up with things that actually made sense. <laughs> It wasn't very fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you just kind of relax and go mm -hmm. light with it, yep. that's very true. I thought it sounded like Yeah. Hand. So we got stuck. Okay. Like in her story. And then I was like, oh, I'll, I'll just ding and we'll get to a new place. Because you have to. It, like, it gave us both permission to think about it in a different manner. Yeah. yeah. Oh, because our feral cats were like, <laughs> like rats. And isn't life like that? <laughs> okay, great. You just change it. Just change the facts. Yeah. Good. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. You guys did it the best. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Start. Right. I can already see ahead, we're not there. And giving people permission to say, do you still agree with the idea? Is this really where you want to be? Mm. Or do we need to change it? And asking them, mm -hmm. you know, without just letting the crowd run with it. Mm -hmm. It's a place that I don't know that we go either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. I do too. I'm going to ponder that one. <laughs> um, like that. We are out of time. But, but, uh, thank you so much for having us here. These are just some last slides that we've got. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the exercises and looking into this idea of yes and and applying it a little bit and thinking how it uh, relate, relates to leadership is huge. And it's become, a, it's become a big part of what we do, so. Yeah, so uh, just some Final slides, uh, yes, be the yes and person. Mm -hmm. uh, using what others bring will strengthen your leadership path and uh, engage imag imagination to unlock, unlock innovation. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Yay, this you guys are awesome. This was very, very fun.